we're doing a restoration on 1941 mahogany sloop. We'll be sandblasting with walnut shell. Environmentally friendly, capturing, close it properly. Pressure is 90, 185 CFM compressor. This is the side before. You can see there's a lot of years of paint on there, and it needs to come off down to bare wood once in a while. What we're going to do today is go through the steps of how to blast without damaging a hull and restore the finish of a 1941. Real important to make sure when you uh, add the, the medium you're using, in this case walnut shell, that you cut the bag with a nice sharp knife, split it down the sides and then across the top, making sure you don't have any particles of, of the, uh, the wrapper or the paper wrapper. It, a little bit of paper wrapper gets jammed in there and you'll be fighting that thing all day long. So. A little extra care to make sure you don't have any paper products or any foreign objects that get into that hopper. As you can see, it's a pretty fine walnut shell. It's a little less aggressive than some of the Black Beauty or Sands. So it does a little better job of taking things off without damaging them. Used for polishing, bright work. Inside where the medium goes, there's a little ball valve in there. Pay extra, extra caution to keep fingers away from that ball valve. If the operator hits his trigger, that ball valve will come up with uh, quite a bit of force and it will take off a finger or anything else that you stick in there. So stay clear of that, that hopper valve. And if you do have to clear anything, make sure that the compressor is not running. Very important. That's, that's 185 CFM compressor. All you need to establish the 90 PSI, which comes out quite forcefully enough to take off all the old paint, which is a light pass. To demonstrate a little bit as we're going through how it removes it, you want to keep your distance at a point where you're not tearing up the wood. The walnut shell is very beneficial in that it's not as aggressive as some of the black beauty and the other mediums. And it will do a good job of taking it down without destroying the wood. Well, the top size is usually what they refer to as a sweep method. We're going across, and we're not actually going down and trying to take it to bare wood all the time. Doesn't need to. If it comes off, that's fine. But if the, if the coatings are adhering nicely, uh, you just want to get it down to where everything's still tight, and it won't be any problem going over recoating. So as he does some of this, you'll see it's not coming all the way off the bare wood and from the top size, but it's not necessary. You just want to get it even, evenly down to a layer. We'll be taking down not only the top side paint, but on the varnish on the cabin top as well and deck. We'll be completely finishing the outside of 1941 the Hogan Sloop. Open to New Bedford, Massachusetts, 1941, the one of a kind class called the Older Niger class. It's used for a, one design for a racing club up in New York where all the uh, boats were exactly the same, only the different with the senior ship and the knowledge of the shippers. You can see the areas that have been blasted. Shop in the rear, cabin house, blasted down mahogany. They'll be stained and re-varnished. The rails will be varnished as well. Stuff will be painted. As you can see, removing the paint quite quickly and the old varnishes. Blasted down the bare wood. The walnut shell did a pretty good job of not damaging the wood. We got all those layers of paint and varnish off. Next phase will be to assess any timbers. Recalk, prime, paint and varnish. Top side again, leaving a sweep blast, getting all the old paint off, but leaving any kind of primer that's adhered tightly, doesn't need to come down to bare wood. Taking it right off the keel as well, the metal keel. Performing a sweep blast 
what that does basically, it takes, takes the top layers off. It may leave some of the lower adhering priming levels, uh, levels that are still taken to the wood very well. They'll use to come down and bare wood if you don't need to on some of the top sides. But it's uh, got a good base. All you want to do is get it smooth enough that the new finishes on top will go over without any, uh, any notice of any different levels. So we're just doing a flat sweep on the top side.